Hello, welcome to Mr B's ukulele channel. Please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy watching. This is my tutorial for Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, a beautiful Christmas song that dates all the way back to 1944 when it was written by Hugh Martin and sung and performed by Judy Garland. So this is just one of those beautiful Christmas ballads that we hear everywhere and it's just always a nice one to play and perfect for the ukulele. So just it's a nice, slow, easy to sing, uh, easy to play piece. I say easy, it's quite a few chords in there, so have a look at that in a second. Uh, there are quite a few chords to get our heads around, but the rest of the song is nice and slow, it's a nice and easy strumming pattern, it's very straightforward. So I hope you enjoy this great Christmas classic. Uh, let's get into it. So the chords are, like I say, the complex part of the song. The rest of it is very, very simple. Uh, there are, in fact, uh, 11 different chords. So we'll take a moment to look at those 11 chords and then we'll get through the rest of the song uh, probably quite quickly after that. So uh, we've got an A7. Our first finger on the first fret there on the uh, C string. We've got an A minor. Second finger on the second fret on the G string. We've got a B7. Which is our first and second finger on the uh, G and the E on the second fret. And our third finger on the C string on the third fret. And we've got a B minor, which is a bit tricky. Our first finger across the C, E and A strings on the second fret. And our third finger stretched onto the fourth fret there on the G string. We've got a C, our third finger on the third fret on the A string. We've got a D7, which is our second finger across the second fret on the G, C and E, and our third finger in that C position on the A string. We've got an E minor with our second, third and uh, first, second and third finger on the second, third and fourth fret. So first finger on the second fret, second finger on the third fret, and third finger on the fourth fret across the A, E and C strings there. And then we've got a normal G. And we've got a G7. A G6. And a G major 7. So we've got those four G's that we also had in Jingle Bell Rocks. There's quite a lot there to get our heads around. We'll just have a quick look at those G's in a little bit more detail. Uh, although the G major 7, let me just have you look, that follows normally the D7. Um, so that's not too difficult. Like that, so D7 to G major 7. So although the G major 7, I've marked it with my first, uh, with a 1 there for your first finger, because you're doing it from the D7, to the G major 7, you might well leave your second finger there and just slide your second finger down into the right position there, so that'd be quicker than switching to your first finger. You might find that slightly easier, but you can use your first finger as well if you want to. Uh, also, the G6, that follows on from the, where is it, I've lost it, that follows on from the G major 7, so if you're using your second finger, quite an easy transition you just lift your second finger up and put your first finger at the bottom on the A string there so the G6 is the second finger um, on the C string on the second fret and the first finger below it on the A string on the second fret so that's quite a nice transition from the G major 7 to the G6 and then we've just got the normal G and G7 which I'm sure we've looked at before if you're not familiar with those just have a quick look at those diagrams uh, but I'm not going to go into them too much and uh, now I think we need to move on to some strumming so uh, the strumming pattern thankfully is actually really easy on this one I've just kept it really simple it's a nice old it's a real Christmas ballad this one nice and slow on the ukulele it's just a down down up all the way through if I give you the first line of the song you'll see how easily that flows let's just do a down down up on the G down down up down so I'm strumming down with my finger now and then back up with the side of my finger. So I'm trying to use the side of your index finger as you come up. It's a little bit harder than the soft uh, underside of your finger. So you get a better sound and it doesn't get so sore on your finger. So down, down, up, down, down, up. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. You can see how easy and slow the song flows there. Okay, let me do your walkthrough and we can see how all those chords fit together. 
So it starts on the G. Have yourself E minor to the A minor. A merry little D7 Christmas. That's the G. Let your E minor heart be A minor to the D7 light. Back to the G again. Next year E minor all her A minor troubles will be D7 out of B7. Side to the E7, A7 and D7. So you can see we sing the word sight on the B7 and then we play the E7, A7 and D7 on their own at the end as a nice sort of chord progression to finish the line on. Um, let's do that line again. Next year all her troubles will be out of sight. E7, A7, D7. And the second, uh, line, the second verse is uh, very much the same as that. Then we get to uh, the once again as in olden days that starts on the E minor. Once again as in B minor, olden days. Happy A minor, golden days, D7 of G major 7 here. You're to the G6. Back to the E minor. Faithful G friends who are B minor again, dear to us. Gather D near to us, E minor, once A minor, more D7. And the rest of it runs very much in the same uh, pattern there, uh, the same chords and strumming uh, through the through, to the end of the song there. So there's nothing too challenging, just watch out for that B minor, bit of a jump to that one, and the G major 7 and the G6, uh, which might be new to you as well. So do have a good look at all those chords, and then just make sure you're comfortable with that. If you have a quick look at the layout, uh, it's very simple. Starts off with the, have yourself a merry little Christmas, and then the, once again as in olden days, um, then someday soon we all will be together. Uh, that, that's pretty much the whole song, and then it just repeats uh, the second half of that. Once again, as in olden days, happy golden days of your, and then someday soon we all will be together to finish on as well. So it just repeats the second half of the song, and that's it really. It's really a straightforward uh, song. There's not too much in it at all. I'm just going to give you a demo of the end of the song there, uh, the last two parts uh, there uh, to finish on. Here we go. Once again as in olden days Happy golden days of yore Faithful friends who are dear to us Gather near to us once more Someday soon we all will be together the fates allow. Until then we'll have to muddle through somehow.